Also joining us from Los Angeles this morning, Democratic strategist Tanya Acker, and in Washington, Republican strategist Babe Buchanan. Good to have both of you with us this morning. Uh, Thanks, Tanya. Erica. Tanya, I want to start with you. Forget the should he, shouldn't he have said it. It's been established. President Obama made these remarks, and now it's really forcing a lot of Democrats to choose sides. So moving forward, what's the best message for Democratic candidates as they tackle this, what's now become a national issue? I think that it's very important for Democrats, frankly. And look, I would expect it. I don't think this should simply be a partisan issue. I think this is an issue about religious freedom and the Constitution. And I think that whether or not uh, the president should have stepped into this fray, I think he should have. Uh, Democrats and, frankly, Americans generally need to understand what this issue is about. And if Democrats lose seats because they took a stance for religious freedom, then we've got far bigger problems than simply winning elections, frankly. Bay, how, how much of an issue should Republicans make this? Since at the end of the day, for most voters, the real issue here is still the economy. There, well, it's going to be hard to beat the economy when it comes to the election. But I got to tell you, this is an important issue because it just shows a, a complete lack of understanding of what is happening here. This is nothing to do with religious freedom. There's a hundred mosques or so in New York City. Nobody's suggesting we tear them all down. What we're saying is Americans <laughs> respect hollowed ground. This is hollowed ground. 9/11 is ground zero. Is hollowed ground. We don't want malls built next to Manassas. We don't want casinos built next to get. It has nothing to do with us being against development. What we want is this hollowed ground to be respected, and it does not respect or honor those that died to build a mosque. The very kind of uh, statement to those who died is it's an insult to them. But but how well, much? I'm pleased to know that. Go oh, ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm pleased to know that Bay is not in support of tearing down mosques in the United States of America. I'm glad that that issue is off the table. But talking about what this issue really means, of course it's hallowed ground. But to suggest that Islam, uh, a faith that billions of people around the world adhere to, is endemically somehow compared to terrorism is just wrong. And as Americans, we should not be, uh, we should not be propounding that message. It's just wrong. Well, we so know that this is a debate hallowed, that will but... continue. But I do have to move on to this, ladies, before we let you go. <laughs> We've seen so much this primary season. There's been so much talk about the fact that what Americans really want is a change, that the incumbents are going to be on their way out. Bay, I'll start with you. Can either party or any one candidate really change the way things are done in Washington? One person can change a lot by just speaking out, being bold, and, and representing the millions of Americans that are expecting that. But what we're going to find in November is it's not just going to be one. We're going to have dozens upon dozens of new, fresh faces coming to Washington with one intent, and that is to represent the will of the American people, to be there to fight for them, to stop this outrageous spending, and to try to turn the country back to a safe and, and sound course. That's where you'll find real change. We're going to have to leave it there, Babe Buchanan and Tanya Acker. Always good to have your perspective. But don't worry, Tanya, I promise you'll be back. <laughs> you both will. Thanks. Thank you.